uh, instability and conflict in eastern Ukraine certainly makes it difficult to confirm some of the claims and details rushing in. Uh, using what we do know, however, we've put together uh, events in a chronological order over the past 24 hours. At 12.15 p.m. local time, flight MH17 with 298 passengers and crew on board took off from Amsterdam airport on a scheduled transcontinental flight to Kuala Lumpur. At 4.21 p.m. local time, radio contact with the pilots of the Malaysia Airlines Boeing 777 stopped and the jet disappeared from radar. There was no warning or distress signal of any kind. The jet was last recorded at an altitude of 10 kilometers over eastern Ukraine, a region racked by civil conflict and fighting. Within the hour, the fate of MH17 had become clear. The jet had disintegrated in the air, debris from it falling over a wide area. Anti-government forces arrived and secured the crash site within the hour, confirming that there were no survivors. Global reaction was immediate. We have to do everything in our capability to make sure an objective picture of what happened is made public and known to people in our country, as well as the people of Ukraine and the whole world. Our thoughts and prayers are with all the families of the passengers, wherever they call home. Our deepest, deepest condolences uh, to everyone uh, connected with people on that flight. This must be resolved by an international investigation to establish the facts of what has happened. Almost immediately, speculation began that the jet had been shot down. Apparently, I say apparently because I don't have the actual, we don't have all the detail yet. I want to be sure of what I say. Apparently, uh, have been shot down. Shot down, not an accident. Blown out of the sky. By 7 p.m. local time, both Kiev and the anti-government sides had washed their hands of responsibility. The government claimed it did not carry out any anti-air operations, while a self-defense spokesperson insisted they simply did not have the weapons that could reach that high. By 10 p.m. Ukrainian time, fighters in the East claimed to have found a black box, the flight's data recorder, promising to hand it over to international investigators. Morad Gazdiev, RT.